Have you ever wondered if there are worlds beyond our solar system? Almost three decades ago, we had no verified evidence of exoplanets. Today, we've identified over 5,300 of them, each with unique stories to tell. Initially, we discovered large gas giants. But thanks to technology, our search expanded to smaller, rocky planets. Now, we found over 50 exoplanets similar in mass to Earth and more than 800 with smaller sizes. What's our goal now? To find a planet in the habitable zone where conditions might support life. Remarkably, we're progressing well in this search. We're not just identifying possible candidates. We're discovering entire solar systems with multiple worlds that could sustain life. One such system is Glee 667, located just 23 light years away in the Scorpius constellation. Glee 667 comprises three stars, with Glee 667c being a dim red dwarf. This star has a compact system of planets, some within the habitable zone. Glee 667a and b are orange-red dwarfs, smaller and cooler than our sun. But GJ 667c stands out. It's only one-third the mass of our sun. Remarkably, GJ 667c hosts at least six rocky planets. Three or four might qualify as super-Earths within the habitable zone. So what is a super-Earth? These are planets larger than Earth, but smaller than gas giants. They could be rocky, with thick atmospheres, ideal candidates for life exploration. The closest planet, Gliese 667 CB, is inhospitable. It's about 5.5 times the mass of Earth and experiences extreme surface temperatures around 200 degrees C, however. The excitement builds with Glee 667 CC. This planet resides on the inner edge of the habitable zone. It has a mass of about 3.8 times that of Earth. Its year is just 28 Earth days long. Its Earth Similarity Index is an impressive 0.85, earning it the title of the Holy Grail of Exoplanets. Due to its dim star, GJ 667 CC orbits much closer than Earth does to the Sun while Earth is one Australian dollar away from the Sun. GJ 667 CC orbits at only 12 cents, eight times closer. This proximity likely means it's tidally locked, with one side perpetually in daylight and the other in darkness. A thick atmosphere could allow heat to circulate, possibly resulting in a temperate climate even on the night side. It absorbs less light than Earth, but retains heat due to the infrared light it receives. This creates surprisingly Earth-like conditions, yet challenges exist. GJ667C emits intense stellar flares that could risk potential life unless the planet has a strong magnetic field or dense atmosphere. What about gravity? A planet with a mass four times that of Earth could mean you'd weigh approximately 60% more there. However, Increased gravity could also mean a denser atmosphere. If similar to Earth, pressure would be elevated. If like Venus, it could feel like being deep underwater. Despite these challenges, life could still thrive. Earth shows how resilient life can be. Gliese 667 CC isn't alone. Two more planets, Gliese 667 Su and CF, also potentially reside in or near the habitable zone. Though farther from their star, their robust atmosphere might help retain heat and support life. There's even speculation about a potential fourth habitable planet, Gliese 667 CD, although its orbit isn't fully understood. Remarkably, five planets in this system receive between 20% and 200% of the solar radiation that Earth does. This makes them intriguing for studying habitability. Be too close and water vaporizes. Be too distant and planets freeze. The right amount of CO2 is crucial too. Too much and it cools the surface. Too little and warmth escapes. If conditions align perfectly, life could emerge. In 2013, astronomers confirmed six planets around Gliese 667c and hinted at a possibly seventh. This discovery reflects a shift in our understanding. Finding multiple potentially habitable planets around one star system is significant. Why does this matter? M dwarfs make up 70% of all stars in our galaxy. Systems like Gliese 667c could be more common than we thought. 
Instead of searching for one Earth-like planet out of 10 stars, we might discover 10 Earth-like planets around one star. With our telescopes and observation methods improving, we're just getting started in this quest. So, which star system should we explore next? Share your thoughts in the comments. If you're excited about the future of space exploration, like this video, and consider supporting us with a super thanks. Thank you for watching, and keep your curiosity alive.